Welcome back everybody, I am the Jimmer, this is the Propane 1 million RP King of the Hill Championship, this is going to be episode 71, featuring the Hide and Seek by Cloudcraft, so I imagine this is the Seek and aircraft here, looks like I got just some uh, massive cannons out here on the side, look at all those recoil reducers, yeah, I can see those uh, cannons extend all the way through, the turrets extend all the way through the uh, the middle of the ship. Somewhat similar to the, um, oh my goodness, the Omega Nightmare. <laughs> and it uh, has those forward swept futuristic uh, wings there. And it looks like, yeah, I've got some um, custom jet engines going down the middle here. What do we got? Uh, we have any other weapons besides the cannons? Oh yeah, it looks like we've also got a uh, cram bomber down here on the bottom. So we've got the uh, the bomber fighter um, seeker or seek, excuse me, and then that's accompanied by the hide, which is a um, <coughs> oh, it's a submarine. With does it just have? Looks like it just has the uh, cannon. I'm assuming the cannon will be using the um, underwater underwater uh, bases so that uh, it can fire its shells without uh, losing speed or accuracy. The uh, cavitation base. Oh yeah, and here we go. It looks like a uh, load of missile. It looks like those are missile interceptors. I do believe if I'm remembering that head uh, correctly. Alright, and the, the, once again, this is the Hide and Seek by Cloudcraft, going to be taking on our current third place king, the Bulldozer Redo by Menti. This is the Bulldozer Redo here, it is a uh, fairly traditional ship, lots of missiles, and uh, a fairly good sized turret, and uh, let's get this sped up, get the battle underway. Right, we have the missile strike coming in. It looks like the missile strike or er, missile interceptors are trying to intercept those missiles. Got uh, quite a few shots coming in here. Looks like they're aiming at the hide, but the uh, shells are being reflected by the surface of the water. Well, that's the uh, the spawn stick over there. And where is the hide? Doing a very good job of hiding. I'm not, not seeing it out there. It's got to be this way. Oh, there we go. I can see the uh, the missiles coming up out of the water. All right, there we can see uh, firing away with its Manchester cannons, firing those missile interceptors. I believe it's got to be missile interceptors. Yeah, they definitely are. Get to a damage port. All right, looks like everybody 100%. No damage going on at all. There we see some explosions on the bulldozer. It looks like uh, those cram bombs are getting getting close. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the ammo stores have been detonated once again. It's fairly early in the match, though. The bulldozer should be able to repair that damage over time. Get another damage for it. Oh yeah, bulldozer all the way down to 84%. Hide and seek. 
Still 100%. Oh, successful cram bomb there. Very impressive. I uh, I much appreciate the, uh, the use of the cram bombs. Oh, it looks like uh, the uh, era armor might have picked that up. And that is our 15 minute soft cap. Let's check the uh, damage. Looks like some pull those are just, oh, dropping down there, 94. So indeed, the uh, hide and seek has done enough damage to win this first battle. Let's get this reset and get round number two underway.
All right, and here we go. Let's get this sped up, get round number two underway. I imagine it will go much like the first. Oh, bulldozer are all the way down to 83% already, getting uh, getting wrecked. I guess it did that the same thing last um, time though. It dropped down to oh about 84%, and then it slowly healed up. It really doesn't have much chance of winning. It uh, doesn't have its turret, and every time it gets the turret almost rebuilt, it gets stripped off by uh, either the uh, APS on the height or the hidden hidden death. Yeah, hidden death. The, uh, the shots coming from the uh, thrill seeker. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit slow, slower than usual. It's uh, really I don't know whatever I don't know what's going on today, but there's just a ton of pollen in the air. I mean, it smells great. Like everything's blooming. It's spring, and uh, all the flowers just, you know smell absolutely beautiful. But uh, unfortunately. Get, I was getting a little bit of an allergy attack from it, so I took some, uh, oh, what are you, even, allergy relief, it's the, uh, basically Benadryl, and, uh, it just makes you a little bit, a little bit sleepy, so I'm gonna be a, a little bit derpier than usual, but, uh, it's better than, uh, you guys have to listen to me sneeze every, uh, 10 or 30 seconds. Bulldozer, bulldozer, pretty much bones. It uh, just isn't able to counterattack. Um, it needs that uh, that turret, which got taken out uh, very quickly, and then the uh, the missiles are just uh, never gonna able. They're not gonna get through all of the uh, missile interceptors and the the speed of the uh, thrill seeker. Oh, we might see. It's is it gonna go airborne again? Bulldozer considered going airborne there for a second, but uh, changed his mind.
All right, and that is our 15-minute time limit. Let's get a uh, damage part. All right, Bulldozer 92, Hide or Seeker 100%. All right, so that's a win for the Hide and Seek by Cloudcraft. Congratulations. You'll be moving on to fight the Speed Minis Revenge in our next episode. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this battle. I'm going to have to spend some time uh, editing this and getting it down to... Uh, something reasonable to watch that was that was a, a lot of uh, not, not a whole lot happening there but uh, go ahead and uh, click sub that subscribe button and uh, we'll have something a little bit more exciting in our next episode